Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we're looking at a free tile map tool called Sprite Fusion. And this is what you see in front of you. This is Sprite Fusion. And uh, yeah, it's a tile map editor. The cool thing about this one is it's got good support for a variety of game engines, specifically Unity, Godot, GB Studio. Also, you can export as a PNG or a JSON file if you so wish. I will show you uh, the Godot export later on. In the case of Unity, it exports a Unity package. Godot, it exports, well, I'll show you again later on. Uh, you see here, this is the project. Pretty straightforward. You can do uh, descriptions of it over here. You set the tile size, grid color, and so on over here. And that's about it. Over here, you have your various different layers. As you mouse over, you can see that layer in action. So you can see here, this layer is just for pickups. This is the block layer. This is the background layer and so on. You can delete a layer or rename a layer if you wish. You're going to notice also that we have this layer over here. Now this is a auto layer. So basically what you'll see here is you have this tile right here as the center point. So let's get rid of the tutorial here. And then you've got cardinal directions where it will automatically draw the appropriate tile there. So as you're drawing with the rules, uh, basically you select the, the primary tile, which I believe would be this one right here. And then you paint. So go to the auto tile ground rule right here. So then you paint. And then as it has the proper edges, uh, it will do the, the select the correct tile. Auto tiling is a pretty common feature with these kind of tools. By the way, you can delete by right clicking and get rid of stuff right there. If you want to learn more about the controls, you can grab them over here. It is pretty simple and straightforward. What you'll notice here also, each one of these independent windows can be zoomed on its own. So here you can see our tile map and our selection point here can be zoomed over here and our map itself can be zoomed pretty much not infinitely, but quite a few times over. So uh, nice map control over there. Middle mouse button pans around there. And that's kind of the gist of it. The only other thing that really is worth mentioning here, other than the exports, which I'll show you in a second, is you import in your tile sets to work with and how that works. So let's go in here. We'll grab one. I've already pre-downloaded something. So I'm going to bring in an RPG Maker MV tile set. So uh, I don't know which one's relevant. Here, let's grab this one because it's uh, there. And then you're going to notice is it brings them in automatically. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to know about this is uh, there is no support for isometric style maps, just not available there, unfortunately. So here we could go ahead and create a new layer. It's going to be topmost. So if this layer is here, uh, it will draw above the other layer that's in existence here. So this is our top level layer. You can multi-select over here. Now, one thing you're going to notice here also is I'm using a single tile. Um, select right here and the tiles are tiny that's well, because i just brought in a 32 by 32 tile set into a 60 into a 16 by 16 map so if you wanted to change that you could set that here but since this map is already set up i'll just do a double selection you'll see so basically you can grab multiple selections like that and then you can stamp them in accordingly Again, controls are available up here. So if you want to uh, flip the tiles, you can do so by holding down, I believe that's shift key it's representing. Uh, you can open the tile selection wheel by hitting the tab key and you can get the select, quick selection right there of the ones I think you're, I think this is done by recently used. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's kind of the idea behind it. It's a pretty straightforward tool for creating tile maps quickly and easily. And as mentioned earlier on, it exports out to a variety of different platforms. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and hit Godot now. It's going to build the Godot assets and done. So it's going to export. And then what you just noticed is my downloads popped up. Same thing here. I could do this for Unity and same thing. It's going to build the Unity package. And then that's going to download as a Unity package, which can just be imported into Unity. Now, you may have, the astute among you may have just noticed is it did a download. And then, yep, this is a web application. So it's available at SpriteFusion.com. Nice thing about that is you can use it on whatever platform you wish. Uh, there is no option to run this locally as far as I can tell. So that part is uh, going to be a limiting factor for some of you for sure. And then you're going to notice over here, again, we have tutorial to walk you through it. And then they've got a Discord server available as well. I'll link that with the linked article down below. Uh, now let's Let's go ahead and show you that, guys. So I've started setting up Maporama here. Uh, I think I created the... No, I didn't create the folder yet. Okay, create the folder, create and edit. So I'll show you how easy to use in the particular case of Godot is. Do keep in mind, this also came down. So if I go over here to my downloads, you're going to find it also came down. Yeah, Quit stealing focus, Unity. Uh, over here, it also came down as a Unity package. You just go into Unity Assets, Import, Package, Unity Package, and then you'll have it available as well. But what we want is uh, the Godot. So it'll come down as map. You can go ahead, extract map out to map folder, like so. And then we just drop map. Oops, come on. Okay. Uh, map, grab map, 
drop that into our project like so, and it will just go ahead and import it. You're gonna notice it sets it up as scenes. So each background layer is its own scene, like you see right here, which can be of course edited. Uh, and then of course it creates the tile set for you uh, in the tile set. So here you get it as a PNG of all the selected tiles that are used. And then a tile resource is created that you can use to create the tile map. And then of course you have map, which is everything. All of it composed together and ready to go in uh, the Good Deal game engine. And this is, again, it's all tile set based, so you can go ahead, you can edit these things. Uh, they do have uh, all of the different uh, sections are brought in, so the different areas are here. So the ground layer, for example, is its own set of tiles. And then, yeah, you can go ahead and edit them and continue on in the Godot engine. So if you like this workflow better than Godot, uh, it's pretty simple to get this thing up and running. Uh, the export, as you can see, in the case of Godot, brings it in directly as a Godot project. Uh, you can also, again, do the same thing with Unity via the Unity package project, and it's going to bring it in inside of Unity's specific file formats in that particular case. Uh, nice little tool. I'm uh, impressed by it overall. Again, if you want to go ahead and check it out, it's available at SpriteFusion.com. Uh, you can learn a little bit more about it at their websites. Um, so to get to it, you just basically click go to editor. Obviously, the fast integration with Unity and Godot are two of the major selling points. Uh, but yeah, you can draw tiles. You can import any tile set. By the way, we can import more tiles. So you'll notice I brought in that um, new set of tiles earlier on. Go back over here. Um, so we brought in that second set, but I could go ahead and bring in another tile set as well. So let's bring in the boats tile. Here we go. And then that'll bring them in as another tile set. And then we could do it again. And let's go back up here, bring in, wow. Oh, cliff, oh, no, that, ooh. Okay, that one's just gonna fail because that was an asset, um, a sprite uh, file set that I just tried to bring in, which is not ideal. So let's go ahead and bring this guy in instead. And then you see, obviously you get another set of tiles in there. You wanna create an auto tile layer. It's really simple. Basically create the new layer, come up here, and then basically you start just specifying the tile. So you pick, uh, the one tile you want to go with, and then you drop it in there. Again, these are 32 by 32, and the map is 16 by 16, so it's not working the way you'd expect it to. But for each one of these, basically, you just pick the tile that would go into the corresponding slot, uh, keep adding rules, keep adding tiles, and then it will do that automatically corner by corner painting. So it's really easy to set up the auto tile stuff as well. So that's probably the nice thing about Sprite Fusion. First off, there's literally zero install footprint. It's just a web page. Uh, it does support auto tiles. The auto tiling rules are quite simple. It does not support a lot of things that you would get with like LDTK or um, tiled editor. So if you want something more involved, you're gonna probably wanna use one of those tools. I'll link both those down below in the article as well. But if you're looking just for a straightforward 2D multi-layer tile editor with auto tile support, and export for Godot and Unity, as well as uh, GB Studio, and then your own proprietary formats in JSON, if you wish, uh, you got it. So that is Sprite Fusion, completely free. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you're interested, go ahead, check out their Discord. I'll have that linked as well. Uh, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.